Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the Championship. It's Sheffield Wednesday, and they face Brentford. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And here's the lineup for Sheffield Wednesday. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And here's the starting 11 for Brentford. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. Darnell Fisher. Now, well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Tony. Johan Wiesa. Henry. Running with the ball confidently. Crossing possibilities. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Oh, he saved it well. And deciding to go short with this one. Shandon Baptiste. Can he find the net? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Favouring the short one. Johan Wiesa. Body in the way. Well, they fancy a short one. Just the challenge that was required. Well, I'm sure his heart is beating extra quickly because it's his debut game today. Stuart, what should we expect to see from him? Well, they needed to strengthen between the posts, that's for sure. And with his natural agility, not to mention his ability to command the box, I think it's a very astute bit of business, Derek. He just needs a good start here.
intercepting it intelligently. Well, for Sheffield Wednesday, the bitter taste of defeat in the last Oh, they're game. in here, Derek. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. So the corner played into the box. He succeeds in clearing it. Great effort to keep that one in play. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Moving into the advanced position. Oh, he's given the ball away. Putting his body on the line. A wonderful intervention. Well, someone has found the net in the Coventry City match. Let's get all the information from Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for Preston North End. It's now 1-0 with only 24 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. They're trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Wilkes. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And it's played into the centre. Well, in fact, a good but straightforward claim by the keeper. Oh, a nice looking pass. Almost found its target, but cutting it out in the end. Johan Wiesa. Ivan Tony. You can sense the threat is there. But well, it was a good looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Not going to get away with that because it's offside here. And he shouldn't be offside there. He's gone too early, and that's a waste of a great opportunity. Take it away. Oh, good play, this. Opportunity. Oh, fine stop. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Well, news coming through of a penalty in one of the other matches, and Alex Scott can fill us in. Yes, it was a penalty for Stoke City. Oh, hang on, Alex. Big chance here. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Thomason. Wisa has it. Well read to win possession back. Ivan Tony. Baptiste. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? But well, they took care of the situation defensively. Players waiting in the centre. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. 
Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark an attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he's been very quiet so far. He just hasn't got away from his marker. He needs to find a spark from somewhere and start testing this goalkeeper. The first half here comes to an end. And so the match is underway. Darnell Fisher. So we have an early booking here to report. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Oh, he saved it well. Can he find the net? Couldn't outwit the keeper. Johan Wiesa. Body in the way. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Thomason. And scope for them to produce something exciting. We wonder who was in the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Michael Smith. Brown. In behind for him to chase. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Well, there's been a lot of back and forth with regard to this transfer. One that's been done. Usman Dembele has completed his move to Tottenham, Stewart. Well, the fee is about £65 million. And, of course, with that comes huge expectations. But I believe he's a rare talent, and he will handle the pressure brilliantly. A routine save. Well, big news I'm hearing. A penalty has been awarded in one of the other games. Alex Scott's with the details. Oh, jumping in. They're in a great position here. There it is. The first goal of the game. And the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, here it is again. And it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block. Which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. A championship match that should hold plenty of intrigue. Join us on EA TV. It's Sheffield Wednesday facing Bournemouth. Time for a change then.
And a change to the scoreline in the Stoke game. Alex Scott has all the information for us. Yeah, second one for Stoke City. They're back in this now with 59 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Will Volks. Brown. Smith. Jaden Brown. Can he get them level? Well, that was a gilt-edged opportunity for the equaliser. Well, I'm not sure how he's missed the target from there. That's a poor effort. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Substitution for Sheffield Wednesday. Coming off the pitch, number 11, Michael Smith. To be replaced by number 10, Josh Windass. Right, from what I'm hearing, there's been a goal in the Hull City match. That means we join Alex for the details. It's a second goal for Middlesbrough. They're ahead by two now, with 64 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Oh, the threat is there. But Stout defending when it mattered. Windass. Rohrslev Ball with Bittencourt The frills and spills of championship action Join us for this one live on EA TV It's Brentford taking on Stoke City Big chance And he's fired it against the post On a time for composure on the ball Johan Wiesa Effective challenge Thomason. Oh, big opportunity. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Substitution for Sheffield Wednesday. Coming off the pitch, number 7, Tyreek Offensive. To be replaced by number 17, Dennis Avenue. And news of a goal in the Bristol City game. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Bristol City. The goalkeeper's made an initial great save, but there's nothing he could do after that. The game's all level again at 2-2 with 76 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. And all the way through to the keeper. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question. Are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, I think their forward play has been poor today. They've not had enough movement from the front players, and the midfield have been too safe with their passing. Unless that changes in these final few moments, they'll get nothing from this game. Just 10 minutes to go. Mikael Damsgaard. if something comes of this just needs to stay calm he's missed the chance and they're still behind Stuart well you always hope for one more big chance in the game and that was it not sure they'll get another now and a goal has gone in in the commentary game here with the information as always is Alex Scott yeah, second one for Preston North End. You could see he knew what he wanted to do as he stepped up to take that free kick because it was executed superbly. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with under five minutes left to play. Many thanks, Alex. And now passing it through. Can't miss. 
this, surely? Oh, I'm nearly on target. Not quite, though. Yeah, very nearly, but the goalkeeper had it covered. It wasn't really a great effort. And he did well to cut it out. Thomason. Ball with Bittencourt. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Shot attempted. Couldn't quite hang on. And problem solved for now. Oh, a lovely ball. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. And the contest begins. Darnell Fisher. So we have an early booking here to report. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Oh, he saved it well. Can he find the net? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Johan Wiesa. Body in the way. was a guilt-edged opportunity for the equaliser. Well, I'm not sure how he's missed the target from there. That's a poor effort. Thomason. Well, let's see if something comes of this. He's missed the chance, and they're still behind, Stuart. Well, you always hope for one more big chance in a game, and that was it. target not quite though yeah very nearly but the goalkeeper had it covered it wasn't really a great effort I've just got a couple of questions for you
you for your time. Really appreciate that. That's all the questions we have for you. And a warm welcome from the south coast of England. We find ourselves at the Vitality Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Bournemouth, and they take on Sheffield Wednesday. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Here's the Sheffield Wednesday starting 11. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have licence to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. Thank you, Vitality Stadium. Enjoy the game. So the battle commences. Marcus Tavernier. Interception to snuff out the danger. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Very quick thinking there. Ricardo Saponara. The table looks like this. And Preston North End's getting many plaudits, rightly so. Not too many people expected them to be where they are. Well, they've certainly surprised one or two people by being in a promotion spot. But at the moment, they look a very good team. They're well balanced, they're fit, and they have a structured game plan. They just need to keep it going now. Good officiating, waiting for the play to stop and now going back to caution him. Akin Famewo. Marvin Johnson. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Dorley. Well, for Sheffield Wednesday, an unpleasant experience last time out when they lost against Brentford. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Yes, it was a difficult game for them, losing 1-0 at home. Today, they need to bounce back, but unless they play with more hunger and more desire, I think it'll be another disappointing result for them.
excellent defending. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, when he's on form... Oh, they might score here, Stuart! Well, just over the crossbar, excellent effort. Well, a big sigh of relief. That nearly proved costly. Well, he got away with that one, didn't he? It's a good recovery, though. Well, you sense the goal's coming. They're getting so close now. They just need to take one of these chances. Yes, so near indeed. But now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Marcus Tavernier. Oh, managing to beat him. Can they stop it going in? Oh, he's done it. But hang on. Offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here. But the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. and teammates around him. That's not a bad ball. Can he apply the finish? Oh, his eyes lit up, thinking it was about to be the opener. Well, just the lack of composure. He should score there. Well, here it is again, and quite clearly, it didn't cross the line. Mind you, it was very close. Since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. But he's decided that no advantage was forthcoming, really. And so it's a free kick. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Westwood Bournemouth struggling to keep possession how about the cross excellent assessment of the situation at the back Moving it forward. Teammates in the middle. Oh, good save. Excellent header. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Who's going to get on the end of it? And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happens. Pearson. Well, Bournemouth, as you can see, have enjoyed so much of the possession. But unless they find some inspiration from somewhere, I'm not sure where the winner will come from. They certainly need to up the tempo. Well, perhaps they can do something better with the ball now. They couldn't maintain possession. A real opening now. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in.
and he read it superbly oh a lovely ball and fine goalkeeping well they haven't created too much lately but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here But he's gone short with it. Can't miss, surely. And it's in. 1 0. They breach the defence. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So underway again here, one nil the score. And well, they've given him too much space. Spot on with that tackle. Marcus Tavernier. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. It needs an accurate cross. Real chance. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. And it was close. Well, his skill level is so high. You're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. And the substitution will occur now. Well, there it is, the half-time whistle. We've reached the midway point of the game here at the Vitality. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good, and he got better as the half wore on. crossbar excellent effort can they stop it going in oh he's done it but hang on offside is the verdict here it's not Can he apply the finish? Teammates in the middle. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Oh, a lovely ball. And fine goalkeeping. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is... Can't miss, surely! And it's in! 1-0, they breach the defence! Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Ricardo Saponara on the offensive. Options in the middle.
And they stopped them in their tracks. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Keen to take it short here. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Options in the centre. Out of play, and a Bournemouth throw forthcoming. Very quick thinking there. opportunity oh that's a fine save he's driven in the corner well he wasn't messing around with the clearance just the challenge that was required Stacey transfer news concerning Borussia Dortmund they've hit the target on this one I think Stuart well I think he'll fit in well to their style of play he's a skillful player but the move will just bring out the best of him it's a good signing for both him and the club and he read it well intercepting it and play halted free kick given They need to stop him. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Now we have 30 minutes to go. Using space on the opposite flank now. Not a bit short with the clearance. And problem solved for now. And he takes it away. Pearson can he do it and searching for his second but the keeper equal to the task well he's looking really lively isn't he every time he gets the ball he looks a threat substitution then let's see how it affects the match Favouring the short one. And the Bournemouth throw coming up. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Chance to play it in. He's got to score! Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. Malik Wilkes. And he was in the right place to intercept. The drama of the Carabao Cup. And it's live. Oh, he's us. through and go here, Derek. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Substitution time it is here. Substitution for Sheffield Wednesday. Coming off the pitch, number eight, George Bayers. Coming onto the pitch. Number 17, Dennis Adamira. Delivering it. With Alex O'Neill, please meet your wife at the ticket office. And a successful intervention, winning the ball back. Kiefer Moore. Christie. Tolgai Aslan. 
Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. And ball back with Bournemouth here. Just 15 minutes remaining. Another live game in the championship coming your way on EA TV. Can he finish? Watered by the post. The pressure was high and they could be in here. And the keeper more than equal to it. So the corner played into the box. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. And another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Can someone get on the end of this? Excellent save. Well, you're absolutely right. It's a top quality save. But they're running out of time here. Well, the short corner routine could be dangerous well that's how to hit them not quite accurate enough though Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise inside this stadium. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on. What a noise we've got. An effective challenge. And now passing it through. And up for grabs off the keeper. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Fisayo Demi Bashiru. Wilkes on the attack in the closing phase. And there's the feed into the box. That's excellent defending following the cross. is far from over we're going to have five minutes of stoppage time Dorley actually Westwood on the ball has a go simple save really and the challenge halts them in their tracks Senesi, Kiefer Moore, it's a neat move, an important interception, and that will be all for this game anyway, and defeat for the visitors, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well Derek, not quite good enough today, yes they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game, a frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. No two ways about it, he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he was at his best today, lots of energy, good movement and plenty of skill. And to cap it all off, he got the winning goal. That was a brilliant performance. effort
Can they stop it going in? Oh, he's done it. But hang on, offside is the verdict here. It's not... Can he apply the finish? Teammates in the middle. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Oh, a lovely ball. And fine goalkeeping. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this... for his seconds but the keeper equal to the task well he's looking really lively isn't he every time he gets the ball he looks oh he's through on goal here Derek and he did so well to move across and deal with the danger substitution time it is here the pressure was high and they could be in here and the keeper more than equal to it Can someone get on the end of this? Excellent save. Well, you're absolutely right. It's a top quality save, but they're running out of time here. Could be dangerous. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. questions for you regarding the match Thank you. That's all the questions we have for you. 